We're going to take 76 and divide it by 4 using a division strategy known as the partial quotient. Before we solve this expression, we're going to look at it in context using the following word problem. Ms. Andrews donated 76 water bottles to the entire fourth grade for their upcoming field day. She wanted the four fourth grade classes to each have an equal amount. How many water bottles will each class get? And we're using the partial quotient strategy. So that's a strategy or a way for one to use place value and multiplication facts that they are comfortable with in order to find parts of the quotient and then join those parts together to find the total quotient. Different people may notate or show their thinking of the strategy in many different ways. I'm going to show you one way today that some may have heard of as the box method where you use a box or more like a rectangle and within that box or rectangle we're going to look at two different paths based on the multiplication facts chosen. What we're going to do is represent the 76 using that rectangle and we know we are sharing it among four classes. This is where multiplication facts can be very beneficial. Students can think about four groups of what number gets them close to the number 76. They may know that four groups of 20 or 4 times 20 is 80. They may know that 4 times 10 is 40. What about 4 times 15 equals 60? Out of the 4's facts that they do know, 4 times 20 equaling 80 will take them past their total because it is greater than 76. 4 times 10 equaling 40 will get them less than 76, but 4 times 15 equaling 60 will get them closer to that 76. It will get them closer than the 40. So in this example, we will start with the equation 4 times 15 equals 60. When working with students, you want to encourage them to choose multiplication facts that they are comfortable with. The end goal is efficiency, but while they are learning and practicing, their comfort level is more important. So 4 groups of 15 is 60. We found part of this product or total. We are going to subtract the 60 from 76 and then we'll have 16 left over. We are going to extend our rectangle, but now we are going to start with the 16 as the total. The facts that we have listed so far are all greater than 16, so we can no longer use them. Maybe a student knows that four groups of four equals 16. So four times four is 16, so we're going to subtract the 16 from the 16 and now we have zero remaining. We now have two partial quotients, 15 and 4. We need to join them together or add them, and that will give us 19. So Ms. Andrews will have 19 water bottles going to each of the fourth grade classes. That was one example of how a student may show how they, they solve the problem using the partial quotient strategy. Let's look at a second example of how a student may choose to show their work when using the partial quotient strategy. What if a student didn't know right away that 4 times 15 equals 60? What if they were mainly comfortable with 4 times 10 equals 40? So we would start again with sharing 76 among four equal groups and the 76 going in the rectangle. Using the multiplication fact of 4 times 10 equals 40, four groups of 10 
is 40. We're going to subtract 40 from the 76 and it leaves us with 36 remaining. We will need to extend our rectangle again and start with 36 as our total. Now, we cannot use the 4 times 10 equals 40 because that is greater than 36. What about 4 times 5 equals 20? Many students are comfortable with the 5 facts. 4 groups of 5 equals 20 and we can subtract that from 36 which will leave us with 16. We need to extend our rectangle again and begin with the 16 as the total. A student may feel more comfortable with four groups of two equaling eight, so we can use that. Four times two equals eight. Subtract the eight from the 16 will leave us with eight remaining. We need to extend our rectangle again and begin with the eight as the total. We can use that same equation, four times two equals eight, subtract the eight from eight, and then have zero remaining. Now we have our partial quotients and we need to add them back together. 10 plus five equals 15, plus two equals 17, plus two more equals 19. Again, 19 water bottles will go to each of the four fourth grade classes. In this video, we looked at two ways that students may show their work using the partial quotient strategy to solve a division problem.